Hello everyone, this is Hubert from Traveling with Hubert. A while back I had to go to uh, St. Simon's Island, but in order to go I had to go to Kathleen and pick up a friend of mine. Uh, Kathy was under the weather and she couldn't go. So I uh, left here early in the morning and made it up to Kathleen about 8 o'clock. And this uh, video is some uh, some of the places that we went through on the way up there. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, like travel videos. Uh, if you like travel videos and want to see some more, uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, share this with somebody that, that likes travel videos that may not be watching, watching them on YouTube. Uh, and uh, if you have questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section uh, of the video description. And as always, when we're making these videos, you just have a very, very blessed day. Well, everybody, this is Hubert from Traveling with Hubert. I'm off on an adventure today, I'm going down to Itworth by the Sea at St. Simons, Georgia. Uh, this is uh, July 27th, and it's 6.45 in the morning. So come along as I explore my way down to Itworth by the Sea. Continue. Well, this is America, said so um, 6.50 in the morning. Turn right on Taylor Street, then turn left. Turn left on road, then keep right. The directional lady gets a little upset sometimes. Especially when you keep know the right road's better street. than she does. Drive point two miles, then turn right on East Lamar Street. In point two miles, turn right on East Lamar Street. Turn right on East Lamar Street. See a little traffic this time of the morning. Continue point three miles, then turn left on Trip Street. Very brand new Burger King. They came in and tore down the old building and put a new one up remodeling them I can tell you in point two miles turn left on trip street then turn right turn left on trip street then turn right Continue point one miles, then turn right on Crawford Street. Turn right on Crawford Street. The same thing they did to the uh, Burger King, uh, they did with Wendy's about a year before. They came in and tore down the old one and built Continue a whole new building. Continue four point three miles on Crawford Street. But we're headed out of Americas. Uh, headed toward Andersonville and Oglethorpe, Georgia. Give you a little look at the residential area here a lot. Uh, Georgia 49, and then I'll turn the camera off till we get closer to uh, Andersonville, Georgia. You can get a, catch a glimpse of the sunrise over the Piney Woods in Georgia. We're getting close to Andersonville, Georgia. It's a Sweetwater Creek. See the sign over there it says Emery's, a division of Malcoa. If 
turn to the left, this intersection, uh, you'll go into uh, Andersonville Village. Uh, you cannot turn right. That's the exit from uh, uh, the Andersonville historical site. This used to be the entrance. Uh, it's, it is the entrance now if there's a, a funeral at the uh, National Cemetery there. I'm not sure how this is going to show up on the video, but this is the entrance to the museum into the uh, side of the uh, prison camp. We're about to turn right on <coughs> Georgia 26. Uh, we're headed toward Montezuma, Georgia. We're going to go right through the edge of Oglethorpe. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, some of uh, what I'm seeing on this trip today. 5.2 miles on Georgia 26. This is Oglethorpe City, City Limit sign. I've got a bug on the windshield and I have to stop when I find a place and clean it off. Solar panels, a lot of people are objecting to that. Somehow it pollutes the landscape. I think they're fighting a losing battle. I think that's going to be the wave of the, wave of the future. We're about to cross the Flint River. River. Ah, gracious. 1994, we had a flood, and the water came up to this bridge, a little over this bridge, I think. We're in uh, Montezuma. That was a Montezuma city limit sign. old Fred's. I think I can pull, pull in there and clean my windshield. So the bad thing about doing driving tours is it's hard to keep your windshield clean. Jack's Burger here. That's new since the last time I was here. School's on the right. place on the right used to be McKenzie's Frozen Foods. A lot of places like that used to bring jobs to these areas no longer exist. In point two miles, turn left on Georgia 224.
turn left on Georgia 224. Typical what you see along uh, Georgia 224, just farmland on both sides of the road. Also along uh, Georgia 224, you're going to see trees. That seems to be the two main things, farmland and trees and the occasional house and church. We're getting close to Perry. Um, getting close to our destination too. First leg of our destination, I have to pick up my friend Carl Barnhart. Usually I, I travel with Kathy. Um, Kathy's a little under the weather. Don't like traveling without her. I've said that before in my videos. We're gonna do this video of uh, riding through Perry, Georgia. In point three miles, turn left on General Courtney Hodges Boulevard. left on General Courtney Hodges Boulevard. Continue 1.5 miles, then turn left on Macon Road. on Macon Road, then turn right. on Macon Road, then turn right. Turn right on Swift Street.
drive 5.3 miles on Swift Street. This is the only footage I have of Kathleen, uh, the one that I took on that day. Uh, other than I didn't mash the record, but but anyway, uh, I'm headed uh, in the opposite direction than what Carl and I came out. Uh, we actually came in the opposite direction from which you see me traveling here. Uh, there's an elementary school here on the left. There's an intersection here, I do not remember, recall uh, what this intersection is. Sorry about that. You see a church here, uh, that's not his church, that's Centerpoint Church. There, his church is, you see the tower in the distance, uh, his church is just this side of that tower. And this is the parking lot. And facilities uh, right here on the 